When was the first time I reached out to you? Do you remember that? Um, three years ago? I don't know. Time flies. What, what was the genesis for me reaching out? Do you remember? <laughs> I, I do remember. I made a video where I talked about uh, software in general, but then I kind of picked on you guys a little bit for um, the user experience inside of uh, Xactimate was not very intuitive. I didn't feel that it was very intuitive for new people. And it was, it, it was creating like training struggles and things like that to get people up to speed on it. I believe that was it. What, what was my response? What did I, how did I approach it when I reached out to you? Do you remember? Oh, well, you, you wanted you, you wanted to open up a dialogue and communicate and talk about, you know, do you wanted to work with, with me and my, my subscribers and viewers and everybody to see about, you know, how we can sort of address the the issues with, you know, the software and, you know, the user experience and how we can make it, you know, a little bit more user friendly and easier to, to, to navigate. Exactly. Communication. You were right. Yeah. You were right. All right. And we still have progress to do. We're still committed to it and listening to what you and your subscribers have to say in terms of what we need to improve. It's important to us. Right. We don't exist without you. And I tell I tell big carriers, I tell small carriers, contractors, adjusters, we have to earn your business every day. Like when somebody tells me, yeah, well, I just have to use Xactimate, I die a little bit inside each time. I want people to love <laughs> our products, right? I, right? I want it to really bring the utility that it promises. And it does, but when you feel like you're forced into something, it doesn't feel great. And I want people to feel like they have that choice and really see the value and utility of using our products. Like that's important. So that's why I reached out. That's why I continue to engage. That's, you know, what my objective is. Sure. Sure. And I think that you're probably that I know personally, probably the, probably the, one of the few people that have used Xactimate longer than me, early versions of it. Um, and I, Made, I think I made it clear in subsequent videos after that and conversations and everything, but the way Xactimate is set up, like to build estimates, um, I think is probably the best way that it can probably be done, I feel like, because it's, you're, you know, you're adding line items in, um, the interface, even though I, you know, kind of griped a little bit about it, especially for it being like a bit of a, steep learning curve for for new people because it's not immediately evident what to do first or next once you figure that out that the, there's not much of a learning curve after that it flattens out and then you start to memorize the the category and select your codes and you can write estimates just totally from memory tab through things and you can i mean you can blaze through exactimate pretty pretty quickly and i think that the changes that you guys made i'm not just like blowing sunshine or whatever but that the changes you guys have made to the navigation, um, adding ex exact expert in, which for people who don't know, it's basically the audit tool um, that is in real time on your side of your screen versus being like at the very end when you try to when you hit inspect and then it pops up a whole long list of all the things that you need to fix. It's it's it shows you as you go, pops up a thing. Well, you might want to add this line item to that or th that line item, or you know you've got you know the same amount of ways to tear off as you do of, you know, replace on your roof, you need to add ways to the replace, whatever, right? So it's like real time kind of like helping you out. And I think that that's, guidance. you know, yeah, it's guidance. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and you'll see more experts, right, through that journey that really yep. help guide and maybe prompt and, and, and help you correct if there are potential issues. And, you know, it's like any rule, there's always an exception to a rule. And I think that has to be, I, I think that's underappreciated in some ways from a quality perspective. Uh, so, yeah. but yeah, on the, on the user experience, sure. Advanced users, it's the new users that come in. And if you, you know, if you've watched a lot of the turnover in the industry, a lot of the new individuals coming in, that's something that Xactimate hasn't really shined is that complexity. So adding additional guided capabilities on top of that, that, help the new adjuster move through the process. That's something that's important to us and you'll still see it. But I don't want to change, you know, one of those those individuals like you, Matt, who've invested a lot of time in it. I don't want to put on the training wheels and say, 
okay, Matt, now you have to click next 800 times to get through an estimate. It'll drive you insane. Right. right? Yeah. So you yeah, yeah. do both at the same time. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I would say that, you know, being an Xactimate certified trainer um, and having taught level one and two, level one, I mean, I've heard people, and you see us on social media sometimes, oh, I don't even bother with level one. It's basically how to turn on your computer. And, and I'm like, it really isn't. If, if you, all you got time for is, and well, all you got the, check, the checkbook for is to pay for a level one training, it's, I think it's more than enough. Like hurricane's going to be here in three or four days. Take a level one, you know, to go through the level one training. I would still recommend getting the certification because it's going to test you and it's going to, you know, give you feedback on how your, your, your proficiency with the software, but it's still like, it's, it's, it covers everything that you need to know to write estimates. It covers the software sketch and, and writing estimates and everything else. Level two obviously cranks it up <laughs> quite a bit. And then level three is like, you know, 10 X it's like logarithmic. <laughs> You're one to two to three. Um, I don't know if you, if, if you, if you can't say anything about this, it's totally fine. Um, I can cut this part out, but, um, currently there you've got a year to take to when you when you buy the exam you've got a year to take it and you have unlimited tries to take for for the level the level one two or three certification exams um and i think the knowledge test was isn't being administered it's just like sort of the practical part right any plans to change that soon or is that kind of like top secret or i well ab top secret such that i don't know about it <laughs> <laughs> I'm not aware of any uh, plans to change that. Uh, gotcha. I, th I think that there's probably opportunity there. Uh, I think also within the application, right? Again, it's just more of that guided, how do I do this? How do I do that? I don't have to call somebody. I don't have to log into the e-service center to figure out how to do something. So there's, right. there's again, more opportunity right. to do that. But I think that, you know, for all intents and purposes, getting somebody at least going in the application like that that should just right? i'm probably speaking out of school here and somebody's gonna throw rocks at me for it, but that should just come as part of your subscription quite honestly so maybe i need to have a conversation uh with shane and have him uh be a little frustrated with me but i don't know i kind of yeah, expect yeah. it well it's like an instruction I'll, I'll look into for... that. yeah well and it, let's let's hear if, from if your you subscribers don't... Let's see if anybody has a strong opinion on that. Phil's. You know, oh yeah. Has so a yeah, I guess opinion one way or another. <laughs> in the comments, let us know if you would be in favor of uh, Xactimate, the demo version or whatever, coming with, like, say, a level one or like an express training, like a like a jump start class, just free as part of like you know you just get access to this training. Give us a thumbs up if you're, I'm, I can't imagine that anybody be like, nope, I don't want that. <laughs> let, me, let me reframe it as with your subscription, right? So if you're paying for it. Sure. Maybe, maybe you get level one with it. I'm already paying for it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. If you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like five or $10 per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning. Then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection through your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your E&O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages. Better and cheaper? Sign me up. There's only one company that provides E&O and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, AKA Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on Adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? 
Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.